Yes, a one-way ticket to Toronto. Amar Rashid. Yes, I'll hold. Can a Muslim book a one-way flight these days without someone having to call their supervisor? Oh, you poor thing. Racial profiling. Making it very difficult for you to run away. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Wait, let me ask the Imam. Oh, wait! He's running away! Look, I screwed up, okay? No, it is not okay. You were supposed to... Well, you were the guy I dreamed about. Rayon, that's not really appropriate. I mean... Get over yourself. I dreamed about you for our mosque. You know, a progressive imam born here in Canada? Well, I thought you'd drag us into the modern world. Or at least the 11th century. Yeah, so did I. That's why I gave up being a lawyer. Oh, I figured you just sucked at that, too. Hmm. You can't leave, Amar. Not when your congregation is in there right now, having its annual cage match to figure out when to start Ramadan. I'm sorry I'll miss that. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my parents never fasted. And they're huge. The airline hung up on me. Oh, see? That's a sign. You get in there and be the imam. Okay. The crescent of the new moon must be observed with the eye, just as the prophet did. Well, I don't think the prophet had a telescope from Costco. Look, we do this every year. Now, I'm no expert. Which is clear to us every year. But why don't we just log on to moonsighting.com and let the starvation begin? Why don't we just do what the Christians do? Pick a month and stick to it. I mean, what's wrong with December? Shorter days for fasting and way, way better shopping. Well, unfortunately for you, Mom, Islam is not based on the shopping cycle. Huh. Traditionally, Ramadan begins when the new moon is seen in Saudi Arabia. The Saudis couldn't find the moon unless there was oil spurting out of it. We must call Saudi Arabia. No, 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 no one's rolling long distance on my phone. No, it's too I, it's Saudi so Arabia. Can no. I jump in here, please? After all, I am the Imam, right? Okay, Brother Amar, so what do we do? Well, in Toronto, forget it. No, no, no. Tell us how they do it in Toronto. Does Ramadan begin when the bell rings at the stock exchange? <laughs> you know what? Forget Toronto. This is mercy, and in this mosque, I decide how Ramadan begins. Barber, it's time to give up this telescope. I'm going to give you a hand. Good. So, we're going with the telescope. I win. <laughs> oh, you're so lame. For the love of God, is the sun ever gonna set? We've been waiting here since 8.30. You are in the middle of the prairies. It's going to take a while. This could have been such a nice mosque. We fought too hard. We can't turn back. You have to find a loophole. Okay, whatever Mickey is coming, yes, you have to do something. What? Sue him. You can't just sue people for no reason. Well, all right, you can, but I'm not doing that anymore. I can't lose my office. Or the mosque. I heard you on the radio the other day. You sure sounded like a horse's ass. Thank you. Oh, I've been trying to give this to Yasser. I know Yasser misrepresented the community, but no, just, please, wait, let me finish. I was hoping you'd let us stay. Because religious and racial hatred will destroy the world if men of spirituality, men like ourselves... Amar, with all due respect, shut up. I'm not evicting you. This is a new lease that reflects the true nature of your multi-purpose uh, activities. But if you plan to open up a bowling alley, give me a heads up. Thanks, but why? When the Fred Tupper Show tells me to do something, I tend to do the opposite. There was never an issue with your congregation? Come to my Sunday sermon this week. I'm lucky if I can fill the first two rows. It may have been God who said, let there be light. But it's me that pays the electric bill. Thanks. In this, the ninth month of the Muslim calendar, we are asked to examine ourselves with a critical eye. And if we can't, there's lots of people around to do it for us. I may not be the best imam in the world, 
but I've learned a lot about humility this week. And I've done a pretty excellent job of it, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I always gain weight during Ramadan. I'm starving. Cucumber sandwiches coming through. Cucumber sandwiches. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Anne. You want a cucumber sandwich? Oh. I thought, you know, a Ramadan meal would be a little more exotic. Good. Curry is ready. Excuse me? Oh, what is that wonderful smell? It's tradition. And tradition always smells better. Um, <clears throat> Mayor Popovich, I'd like to introduce our new Imam, Amar. Pleased to meet you. Hi. My first few days in office were no picnic either. Fred Tupper kept referring to me as the she mayor. <laughs> Sorry. Goat. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I pictured you coming back to the church, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Well, Reverend, you can't win them all. Well, if you ever change your mind, please let me know. Because I really miss these little sandwiches. Oh, I'm so glad. Mm. I have hundreds. Well, Yasser, mm. I hope you've learned that honesty is the best policy. Of course, of course. Mm. That brings me to your salary. I'm willing to be flexible. Good, because we don't have much money. How much money? We're broke. I'm not that flexible. Well, if you must leave, I'm sure they will understand. But it seems to me you've become attached to our little community. Why didn't you tell me before I left Toronto that you didn't have any money? I'm being honest now. Yes, sir. You have to learn the difference between honesty and emotional blackmail. And who better to teach me than you, Brother Amar? Who better? If you miss some of this show, or you just want to watch it again, you can catch it at its regular time, tomorrow at 8 p.m. on CBC. Stephen Truscott. Is his long wait for justice in the murder conviction finally over? Important new evidence. Moment of Truth. The Fifth Estate. Wednesday at 9 on CBC.